What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a colored logo and turn it into an all white logo. Now, this is important if you are going to be doing some kind of design work with your logo or a client's logo in which you have to put on a dark background. Most commonly when a logo is designed, it usually has some color in it and some of them don't look great on a dark background. And this is how you're going to combat that. So we're gonna use Canva today and we're gonna make sure that we have a logo file that is big enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and say create design and I'm gonna say upload. And I'm gonna choose the file of my logo. We're just gonna use our Blue Cow Marketing one. And here it is here. Now, if I was to put this on a blue background or a black background, which I'll show you before we convert it, it's not gonna pop because there's blues and there's black in the logo. On white, on a light color, looks great. So when you upload the logo, as you see here, it's going to tell us the size of the file. This is a 3297 wide by 958 high, pretty good size logo. Now, if you don't have a transparent file of the logo, then you can put in one that has a background and use the background remover part of Canva to get rid of it. If the file's pretty small, like a 300 by like 98 or something like that, you're probably not gonna be able to remove the background that easy. You're gonna want a bigger file anyway. So let's go ahead and we're gonna say use in new design. And the key here is to pick custom size. When you do that, it's gonna pre-fill it with the size of the file. So you don't have to worry about figuring out what size you're gonna make that. So we're gonna say create new design. Now mine is a transparent logo. As you see, we can move it around. And if I go back here, and I'm gonna pick a dark background to show you as we do this transformation. Now, as I said here, put it on a dark background, not great because the black in marketing is gone because it's on a black background, right? If I was to go ahead and change that background to let's say, you know, the blue in our logo, now this stuff disappears, but the marketing is there, okay? So let's go ahead and just make it black. All right, so when we click on the image, there's a button up here that says edit. Now this is gonna pop out a lot of presets here. Now if you wanted to remove the background, if there was one, this is where you do your background remover. This one doesn't need it, so we're gonna skip past that part. We're gonna click adjust. A lot of people don't know this exists. So in here, you got a bunch of sliders that do a lot of different things to images. So let's go ahead and start to go through these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the image lighter because it's a dark image right now, which means brightness we can pull up. See, it starts to get a little bit brighter. Contrast, we're gonna pull that up as well. Highlights, we're gonna go pull that up. You see it's starting to get closer to white. We're just not there yet. Shadows aren't gonna do anything right now. It does change a little bit, but you can throw it all the way up. And whites, we're gonna go up even higher. We're still not there, okay? Now here's the key, where'd the marketing go? It's still black. Well, there's a level here for blacks. And as we pull this to zero, boom, now it appears white, perfect. Now, as we see here, the last step, what we're gonna do is there's a little tinge here of blue left in here. That's your saturation. Now, your saturation is great. Maybe you're gonna throw a photo in here and you wanna make a black and white photo. Just drop the saturation, it'll purely make it black and white. So here we go, boom. Now we have a white logo, exactly what we were looking for. Let's go ahead now, we're gonna give it a name. So blue cow marketing, white logo. And now we're gonna click, I'm gonna move my little controls over the way here. We're gonna click share. This is how you download. And we're gonna say download. This is the key. If I just downloaded this right now, we're gonna have a black background on the file. You have to check transparent background. That's going to then just take that opening or the, the image and make the background transparent so you can see through it. We're gonna download. It's gonna go ahead and do this. It's gonna ask us where we're gonna save that. We'll save it there to the desktop. And now as I open it up, there's my white version, there's my original version. So now you have a white version of your logo. If this was helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel, share this video if it's not on YouTube. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments.